guys, so I just finished having a bath, and now I am going to get ready for the day. Uh, I have a haircut, haircut appointment, hair appointment, what? Hair appointment to get my hair cut at, um, here we go, oh. at um, one. And so I thought I would bring you guys along. This is what we got going right now. It's not like super long, but I don't know, the size, it's just, I don't know, it's just too much for me right now. I'm gonna get the sides of the back trimmed and then I'd like kind of like a mohawk and then a little bit of design to the side. I got a picture of what I want. I'll insert that in here. And then I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like. I am currently done my makeup. My eyelashes are a little, a little strong today for some reason. Maybe I curled them too much. I'm not really sure. Something just feels a little bit off. Now I'm just going to find an outfit to wear just to go get my hair cut. It's not going to be anything fancy fancy or anything. And then I basically have like a half hour-ish and then I'll have to leave for it. Bitch forgot her jacket and it is colder than this motherfucker. I love my hair. I love it. It's pretty much exactly what I wanted. <laughs> now I might get stuck at Winners and then I'm headed back to the house. Turns out I have two of my fucking rain jackets in the back of my seat in case of emergencies. Actually, that was totally a fluke. But dun 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 dun! The amount of pissed off I am right now is just unreal. Back again. Uh, I had I had to stop the house and then I had a little bit more running around to do, but now I am getting back to it. Found the keys. Found the keys. Ignore that, that's laundry drying. I do have a drying rack, but it doesn't hold everything, so. This is like the cutest. Let's take a bite, shall we? Bottoms up. Is that what they say when they drink something? I feel like that's what you say when you drink something. What do you say when you eat something? I don't know. Oh my god. down the rabbit hole you're gonna start with your eyebrows glued down and your bald cap already secured and liquid latexed out if that makes sense now I'm just going over with a cream white all over the spots that I'm going to be putting the rabbit fur if you were going out I put it all over everywhere but since I'm not I don't have to and then you're gonna lay, lay down liquid latex and rip up cotton balls and um, just spread them out all over that the area that you want fur to be basically. Again, I just did the front of my head because this is just a tutorial and I was literally gonna take this look off about 
half hour after I put it on. <laughs> and then I put, I bring it down a bit on my cheeks and then later I do bring it down a bit more on my nose as well. Um, but it's kind of like a go by how you think it looks. And then I also cover the sides of my headband with the cotton balls as well just to blend it in a bit more because then it's, it doesn't look like a headband at all and that's totally what we're going for. Now I'm just going to take this NYX uh, white eyelid primer and obviously paint that all over my eyelid and then I go over by brushing white body paint all over myself and then I go in with a beauty blender and stipple the white paint on to get it more opaque. I find that this um, combination of the two different like styles is better than using just a brush or just a beauty blender for some crazy reason. And as you can see now the white, once the first layer is dried, I'm going in and stippling on the white to make it more opaque. And like I said, now I'm going in and gluing a bit more on. And if there's any spots where you can see the body paint on the fur, you can go in and add a little bit more cotton ball there just to kind of cover it up. And now I'm just flattening out a piece of cotton ball, like making it long, elongated, if that's a thing. And now I'm not putting the liquid latex on my eyebrow, I'm putting it just below it. Even though they are covered with glue, I think they would be fine, but just in case, I don't want to rip anything out. And then you just attach the front of that eyebrow in place, and it looks, looks like this. Now I'm going in and stippling white body paint and blue body paint over the fur just to make give it like a bit more texture. It was looking kind of flat and kind of a bit too like stuffed animal-y if that makes sense. So and I'm not doing any rhyme or reason. I'm not shading or anything. I'm literally just stippling the colors on everywhere. Now I'm going in with a grey body paint and just darkening my eye sockets and like right near my nose just to give a bit more depth in there. And now I'm going in and adding grey throughout the fur just to kind of dirty it up a bit. And I'm going in with a grey smoky eye, concentrating on the inner corner and then blending it outward on my eyelid. And I'm doing the same thing with a black, just to kind of darken it up. And I'm taking a light pink lip gloss and then just tapping that out on my nose to create like this really nice, natural, red, pinky, rosy effect on the nose. Now I'm just lining my waterline with some NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And then I go in and add a gold highlight to my cheek just to make it shimmer. And now I'm taking a black body paint and creating a half circle around my eye. This is going to be the beginning of our clock. And I do go in and add the little lines just as a rough outline, but then I end up going in and putting gold eyeshadow there and having to redo it later. Now I'm taking some, again, just light shimmery powder and putting it on both sides of my cheeks, just as like a nice highlight. Trying to make it as whimsical as possible. And like I said, now I'm taking the gold and going in the clock and making it a bit more like metallic. And um, that ends up kind of taking away how dark it is, so then I go back and re-outline the clock just so it's easier to see. And it stands out a bit better. Now I'm going in with some white body paint and lining my eyelid and then doing the clock hands. I would maybe change the placing of my clock hands now, but I think it still looks good um, with how it turned out anyways. Now I'm going in with a black and then later a light blue and just drawing like messily like running down, like teary eyed, like dripping. Um, like stains from the clock kind of. I don't know, I just thought that this looked super cool. And now I'm going in and smudging out the line, the outside perimeter of the clock. You do not want to smudge the inside where the hands and the lines are. And now I'm just adding some eyelash glue and adding glitter and then I go in and add different um, sized gems because I really wanted this to be like sparkly and very whimsical and very like eye-catching.
I also added false eyelashes at some point too. <laughs> totally missed that. Now I'm covering my lips with white body paint and then going in with brown body paint to outline my mouth. At this point I didn't know that I was going to be drawing on the teeth so definitely if you're going to be drawing them on don't do the bottom lip first. Draw the teeth and then the bottom lip. But I thought I might make fake teeth and then I was like ah fuck it. <laughs> so I decided to draw the teeth on afterwards. So this is the beginning of my cute little bunny mouth. And then I go in and add some spots on the upper lip. And like I said, now I'm drawing in the teeth. I first draw them and then I do one layer of white paint, let it dry, do another layer of white paint, let it dry, and then add a little tan to the bottom of the teeth just to make it look a bit more realistic. And then I go in and shade around the mouth and under the teeth just to make it look a bit more three-dimensional like these are actually overlapping. And I'm just adding glitter and gems to my other eye just to kind of complement both sides. And then going in with more black and darkening the inner corner, adding some whiskers. And now we're doing this cute little neck outfit, I guess. Um, I go in with a blue outline and now kind of dirty or like unevenly scratch on like dark blue. And then I add buttons and a bow with some liquid latex and then some swirls on top. And honestly, pop on a, a little blazer and you're good to go.